things you have to say. I'm here to tell you a little part of my life experience. When my father left us, I was five years old. Every single day, I ask, I ask my, my mother, where is my, where is my father? She told, she said, he went to the United States of America. And I didn't know when he will be back. My father left us for the United States of America. This changed my life. For example, my father used to help me out with my father my father used to help me out with school fees. But after he left us, my mother had difficult paying my my school fees. After after, after, but after he left us, my father had difficult paying. My father had difficult paying me paying my high school fees. However, she she didn't give up my my education because she was still paying my high, my my school fees. When I was eight years old, my mother put me in boarding school. This changed my life. This changed me. This changed me because the only days that my family feasted was the weekends. The boarding school was far from our house, so I went to I wanted to go home on weekends. I had to work at least one hour to see my family and there was no there was no bus around. After five years my mother came to see me while I was while I was in she told me that my father had sent me a visa to go to the United States of America. I, I felt so excited that day because I had been asking my mother for many years for my father. After I came to the United States, I met my father, whom I didn't see him for many years in the airport. He took me to his house were located in South Minneapolis. However, after one month, I had difficulty getting, uh, getting used to the weather. I felt homesick. I had the, I had, I, I hated that the weather was so cold that I had to wear a big coat. Coming to the United States, I had not expected there, there were, there would be many people from different cultures. I felt happy because I saw some people who came from the same country as I. The school fees, the school that I attended in Somalia was totally different than the school I attended in here. In Africa, I had to, I had to pay the school fees every, ma every month. But back home, my, my school didn't have a whiteboard. We, st we still using the blackboard. Thanks to Halima Abdullah, who is my intelligent mother, who didn't give up my education. I really encourage people who read my story to think or to, I really encourage, encourage people who read my story to always think positively in your mind, whatever is going on, and non, and don't, ever lose you what you are hoping for. Mm -hmm.